Today's deck has two of my favorite things, tokens and playing spells on my opponent's turn. And let me tell you guys, it was a beautiful combination. That's right guys, today we are playing Azorius Tokens. I absolutely love this deck. We've played something like it before in the past, but we added in a little bit of a new element today of a surprise attack where we're playing things on the opponent's turn most of the time because there's a lot of instant and flash speed type cards here, but it all is built around a two card combo. Bunnycorn and Segovia. Now, if you guys don't know, Segovia, if it flips over, it's going to allow you to basically allow all your creatures to convoke for mana. And at the end step of every year, every turn, you can untap, uh, untap a handful of your creatures to then use for mana for, you know, instant speed, uh, which is really nice because if you get down the Bunnycorn on two and then you play Segovia on three, Bunnycorn's power goes to a four, four, which can attack into the Segovia and flip it immediately so by turn three you can flip this if you've got the perfect draw right and then from there you can kind of protect your board with things like protect uh protect the negotiators you know you can counter anything your opponent wants to do because you've got that convoke mana open to you right so you can pay the three mana no problem create another soldier counter out their spell which is typically going to be like a sweeper or something right and then from there we can go ahead and flash in things if they don't want to you know sweep the board we can flash in you know resolute reinforcements we can flash in the virtue or we can even draw some cards and then from there we have wandering emperor as well so we can remove things as well as lantern flare so if you notice here all of these things are instant and flash speed that gives us a lot of options right so we attack in with all of our tokens and then we on tap because we've got the segovia flipped over we on tap all of our creatures and then we just protect them with all of our counter spells or removal or whatever we may need Need for that specific turn and we've always got something to do right like i said we draw cards remove something or we could just keep pressing in the board even further with more tokens and eventually if you want to you can hit a massive new phyrexia because you can actually convoke all of your creatures to play an invasion of new phyrexia to create a ton a ton of two twos on the field uh which can also win the game uh for you which is really sweet uh, but the deck was a lot of fun i think you guys are going to enjoy this one again we've done this one before in the past but i wanted to revisit it because we got some new tools and it was nice uh enjoy guys peace out all right today we're taking a look at azorius tokens we haven't played this in a long time but i've been playing it a lot today and it feels really really good uh opening hand here i don't think i can keep it that's just too much mana to be honest this is a lot better uh a lot better let's go ahead and keep it what do we drop though you know what's crazy is i think we dropped the bunny corn uh just because we've got so much good instant speed magic here and that's kind of the key of this deck is um it's at its best when we're playing instant speed magic and uh you know looking to counter things i've been seeing a lot of deep cavern bat today so i'm expecting to see it um a lot more to be honest i've been seeing it a ton today which is so weird um must be like an algorithm thing also, we went ahead and we, uh, ooh, that's not good. We bought a new pet. <laughs> we got Dwayne the Rock over here. Uh, that's pretty funny, I think. They got me good with that one, I'm not gonna lie. All right, we play this for sure. Do I take out the Voice of the Blessed? I feel like I do, but at the same time, I have the Wandering Emperor to do that later. So maybe we leave it up as a blocker like so. So we got counter magic and we've got removal. Let's see if they walk into the removal here. Yeah, I didn't think they would. All right, that kind of gives away what's in my hand a little bit though. Let's see if they if they pick up on that. Nope, they don't. They don't pick up on it. They walk into the seat of the Empire. The Voice of the Blessed is still a 2-2, which is fantastic. They didn't have a Wandering Emperor of their own there because they would have definitely played it. Uh, attack? I think we're, we're pretty locked in here, guys. Like, we're feeling pretty good about this one. Uh, just the Voice of the Blessed left over. Three cards in their hand. We're winning the card advantage game. We're down to 16. They're down to 16. It's feeling nice. Uh, when enters the battlefield, return artifact or creature card. Not happening. I'm sorry, but you're going to get countered. And there's the scoop. Let's go, dude. Taking down life gain. First game. That feels good. GG's, baby. All right. That was a fantastic first game. Uh, this hand looks pretty freaking good. Let's keep it. It's not terrible. 
Not terrible at all. Uh, okay, Azorius. Bunny corn off the top is not bad. I think I might go bunny corn here. I do like the element of uh, instant speed magic, but uh, I don't see any swamps. Bunny corn should be good. I hope. I don't know. I mean, there's get lost. There's counter spells for that too. I mean, we might might just get countered straight up here with a make disappear some. Survival rate, very low. That's what I'm going with here. Okay, it's still alive somehow. And we didn't see a two-mana counterspell. What are the odds of seeing a three-mana counterspell? Pretty low, right? I do need to find my own counterspell because I'm sure we're going to get hit with like a de depopulate next turn or something. So that'll be a lot of fun. I mean, they've got something here, obviously. I just don't know if it's like a draw spell, a kill spell, a counter spell. It's one of those three. It's a counter spell. Okay. Counter spell it is. Let's attack into the opponent here. They still have a one mana spell here. Is it a fading hope? At least it feels that way. Another Adeline. Interesting. Um, Wandering Emperor sure seems like it's going to be a possibility here. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I don't know. I think I'm going to try the Adeline again. This is just a really bad matchup for us, if I'm being honest. It's on the field. And it's off the field. <laughs> All right. What next? Memory deluge. All right. I definitely need to find my counter spell like yesterday. This does me no good. This kind of does me no good. All right. How about another one? They say sure. Might as well, right? Yeah, here comes the Sunfall. Imagine we had our counter spell here. That'd be so good. Not a Sunfall. Emotions are distractions. Focus on the facts. They plus. Wait, what? That seems kind of strange. They've got to have something for the bunny Organic corn then, right? Or... Easily quelled. They've got something for the bunny corn. There's no way they just let that slide, right? I'm going to play this anyways. Because I know they're up to some trickery here. I'm not going to I'm not going to sit here and stand for it. They're up to some trickery. Okay. Well, at least we got the trickery out of their hands. What is going on here? Is it another march? It's a freaking march. Okay. That makes sense. That does make sense. Okay. Well, they're down to one card in hand then. One card in hand. The Jace is at a four loyalty, and I'm sure they're going to want to keep pumping that thing up, uh, which is going to be their downfall. Yeah, they're still being greedy. I love it. Be greedy all you want. I mean, if this next card in their hand is another counter spell, though, we are cooked. So let's hope it's not and hope we can get this to land. All right, it lands. I'm not overconfident. You're just under the We must protect the people. I actually love the Mirex. Spread the love here on the damage. Remember your training. Wandering Emperor. Last card. Yeah. Oh, it's not. It's a uh, flanker. Okay. So 
You gain two life, scry two is probably going to be their uh, best bet here, I'm guessing. Interesting. Okay. The scry two. Two to the bottom. They didn't like what they seen. That's great. The Jace is going to take damage here. We lose a 2-2 two, two, though, but it's okay. We exchanged that. All right. I mean, I'm cool with all of that. That's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, they do have the, you know, memory day loose still too. That's not ideal. How about another one? Double deluge. Temporary lockdown is criminal. Okay. Go ahead, Jace. What you want to do? Are you going to finally minus two? You're going to get hit with the Mirex token, and I think you know that. I think you know that, which is why you're going to plus, right? They are really struggling to figure out what to do with Jace here, and I don't blame them. It's a really tough decision, because if you go with the minus two, you get a card. It's just, you know, it could be everything, depending on the card you pull. Or you plus it and avoid that Murex token hit. Yeah, they go with the avoiding of the Murex token. You can be made to obey. Strike fast and strike hard. What All right. curious behavior. What's next? What did we top deck here? Are we going for the memory deluge? Uh, they've got something useful, I think, because uh, it shouldn't be taking this long to decide on a land or a memory deluge, so it's got to be something good. I don't mind that, actually. For one, I mean, for one little creature, seems like a little bit of overkill. All right, things are going a bit more smoothly than I thought they were. This matchup, again, not the most ideal matchup for us, but still kind of working out. Um, I'm going to I'm going to plus this. I'm going to send everything at Jace here. I know Jace still kind of lives here if they want to bring down the 1-1 one, one and block the 2-2. Two, two. Which is a bit frustrating, but that does just mean that Jace can only plus now. Oh, no, they're going to give the Jace up. Interesting decision. You don't understand what's important. Very interesting decision. Okay. I, my draws have not been great, have they? We have way too many lands. They finally pull the trigger on the Deluge, which means they are probably looking for another Sunfall effect. I'm sure. I got to draw better here, man. I can finally start minusing, though, on the Wandering Emperor and start getting some more tokens on the field. That'd be really helpful. The good news is, too, we're actually going to be hitting them with poison counters, too, which could be extremely relevant later in the game. If they gain a lot of life, I'm sure they will. You know, path to perils and stuff like that. Or not perils. Uh, that's pretty good. Third path. The third path gains the life, you know. There's a lot of things that can gain them life. All right. And then they go for a pretty good temporary lockdown. I think I'd rather pump damage than the poison counters, though. I feel like that's got to be the play, right? And are they going to go for the minus this time? Fly Have they learned their lesson? The Flesh will always they have learned their lesson. They're going for an extra card here. We can improve upon your ideas. It's a Mirax. Okay. Yeah, I think I want to prioritize damage here than I do poison. Feel the energy of battle. Like Alright, so we got two, three, four damage on board. Five if I do this, which isn't enough. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm actually going to send you here. You. you guys here. And I'm going to hang on to the bunny corn. I'm not going to jump the gun on the bunny corn here. I don't think it's necessary. We got him down to seven. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we have more than lethal here, so we're good. We're A-OK. -okay.
They go with the Field of Ruin before they go with their Memory Deluge, which is kind of crazy if you ask me. They've limited the amount of mana they can use for their next hit here. So like, let's say they would have found a lock down there and they can't use it now because they wanted to pull the trigger on the Field of Ruin, which not the smartest play in my opinion. All right, I think that does it. I think we got him. GG's baby, let's go. That was a grind fest. We didn't find any of our counter spells. We were kind of slow and uh, we still get the W. Love it. Not that that was a bad game, but let's hopefully get a better showing this time around. Like let's hopefully uh, get our combos and, and going wide a lot faster than we did that last game. I know it was a bad matchup, but man, I can't get over how funny they, it is that they put a rock as a pet in the game. They got me good with that one. Hello. Okay, they're back. Holy smokes. Used up almost all the rope. Drop our 2 2. Um, do we have any? Yeah, we have instant speed with the quick study here. I think I like that better than I do the bunny corn. We're on uh, a Grixis colored player, so they definitely have removal here. Okay, the freebooter looking to do some sacrifice. At least you'd think they would. Okay, that's fine. Good thing I didn't play the bunny corn. All right, that opens up the wandering emperor, I guess. But man, we are drawing way too many lands. Maybe I should reduce the amount of lands we run. I had 24 in the deck for a while, but then we never found lands when we needed them. So we went 25 and now it seems like we're getting flooded quite a bit, though. Interesting that they don't play anything there or attack at all. Much Very my odd. Keep watch for intruders. Um, I actually think I just like playing this here. I they don't really sense any counter spells or anything, so play out the virtue of loyalty and let's start getting some really big creatures here. They get a treasure and scry, that's fine. Uh the worst thing here would be burn down the house. Like if they have burned down the house, that would be pretty brutal. Not a burn down the house, but a way to potentially one shot us. I really don't like that. That thing has potential to one shot us. Um, through a singularity combo. Oh, that's a great card to have in my hand just in case. Oh, that actually saves my life. Show them how Let's go bunny corn. And then three mana for this. And then we'll play the tap land. Seems good to me. We will still take 10 damage though, I think, if it ends up being. I'm actually gonna force them to have it. Yeah, because if I attack into the Hide and Sugu there and they do have it on top, they would have killed me. See, they say nice because I know what they're up to, man. They had the singularity on top, they really did. Ogre, oh, because of the Hide and Sugu, okay. So now I'm pretty sure they're stuck with the singularity in their hand which is pretty sweet for us. Until Man, I, I'm pretty sure I made a pretty good read there. The way they said nice, that makes me so happy. All right, that's fine with me to counter. Cause, oh, they can't counter. They just cast it with this mana, didn't they? That's uncounterable. Okay. All right, which means that if they have the singularity in their hand, they can just do it again. They can put it right back on top again. So they've put me in another position where I don't think I can attack once again. Oh, they get to exile a card anyways. Oh. Okay, that was odd. So they put that on top. And then they're not even able to cast it. Okay, so that probably tells me they don't have it then. What? And if they do, I still have the counter spell to back myself up. So I think I'm okay to attack here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Unless they're absolute geniuses here, Nate. Okay. Thought maybe they had the singularity there on top and they were just your geniuses all right so one two and then one two i could do this for two and then still have a counter spell and create a one one body i think that's good 
I guess doing this for three makes more sense though because you're gonna get a bigger body, right? So there'd be no point in trying to kick this and get a 1-1 one -one when you can just get an extra 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I think I like that better. All right, here comes the sweeper attempt and then we win the game, right? Not a sweeper attempt, an uncounterable Haidatsugu, a third one, might I add. All right, the good news is, is I can kill them with my attack before they're able to cast a spell on top of their deck because uh, the damage will resolve before they're able to trigger the Haidatsugu on the stack. So I'm safe to attack in this next turn and just try to close out the game uh, unless they have like a go for the throat here for the bunny corn. But then I counter that, so we're good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this game's over, even though they drew three cards that require them to win their game. I still think we're going to pull this off. That's fine. And then a cut down. And then a cut down. Oh man, I hate to break the news to you. Hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, nah, <laughs> nah, yeah, it's a lot of damage. A lot of damage, my friend. GG's. That would have been good though. I mean, they definitely had the singularity on top. Let's let's be real. Like they wouldn't have tried to kill that if they didn't, right? Good stuff. Good friggin' stuff. It feels so evil to win the game by a counter spell, but let's be real. It feels also so very good. <laughs> because it would suck to get one shot at the end of a game like that. So it's nice to have that that little protection built in. Conscript? I was a little worried when I saw the swamp and a card coming down because I've seen a lot of discard today too. Just like straight up like discarding. So I'm glad I didn't see see a duress there. Alright, so we got Golgari. Oh no, I know what this is. Okay, so this is going to be a roots deck. Man, so if we could, we want to try to counter the roots if we can end up finding the counter spell in time. I don't know if that's going to be possible. It, it all depends on how good of a draw they, they have here. All right, we attack. Maybe we go with the invasion of S Segovia right now. Or do we go quick study? I think I gotta go quick study. I got to find my counter spell and then my uh, wandering emperor. Tyvar. Not a Tyvar, good. At least we know what to look out for here, right? That's fine. All right, here we go, here we go. Got some lands, that's not great. Not great. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go two and two and then next turn drop a Virtue and just try to start smashing them here. Uh, I don't think I want to play Segovia. Yeah, I think just going two and two is fine. Am I going to try to win this entire game just off of three virtue of loyalties? That'd be kind of crazy. Moss with Dread Knight. Okay, they're still struggling to find it. They are full sending here though, uh, which is fine. I could take another four or five damage here because next turn I'm dropping the Virtue of Loyalty and I'll have three Knights on the field. So I will have a great defense to these Skeletons going forward. That's also really nice to have some life gain. That's gonna be super helpful. All right, there's nothing in their graveyard to bring back right now. So we're fine with that blocking. There ain't nothing to bring back. You just exiled that for no reason, man. What are you doing? All right, now they can't just attack in freely here, which is fantastic. And it still looks like they're struggling to find the, the one enchantment that they need, which is the roots. That's the problem with this deck is that if you can't find the roots, you can't win. It's, it's truly that simple. Had they found one by turn two, I might be in a lot of trouble here. 
I will also be the first to admit that. Alright, they can swing through with the 3-2 though. Oh wow, they didn't want to though. Uh, Segovia? Let's try to get the big invasion. I think I want to go for it now. Let's go for the big invasion. I'm sure they're going to block this though. Yep, yep. And yep. Just want to get everything off the board. That's fine by me. Uh, but I might as well use this while it's hot, right? So let's take out... Take out you, I guess. All right, we gain five. We keep one of our three threes. The other two one ones grow with the board as well. So we will be flipping over that uh, Segovia next turn. I know I could probably look to just try to close here, but I really want to hit a big invasion of New Phyrexia because that's what this deck was built around is this Segovia play. And we haven't done it yet. We haven't had a great curve for it yet. So I'd like to pop off with it at least once. I don't like the hesitation here. Okay, they draw a card. Damage. I'm assuming they just found that. Okay. Making my life a little difficult, I will be honest, because trying to get through the moss with Dread Knight is annoying. Okay, bringing back the bringing back a creature to their hand that could already come back by itself is kind of weird. That's kind of a weird thing to do. All right, let's attack in everything here. That way, all of my creatures now become mana for us to use. All right, let me go here. Let me go here. All right, and then we untap everything. We select zero for the Segovia because it's not necessary. And then boom, they all get counters. All right, next turn, we've got the biggest invasion of New Phyrexia. If we want it, <laughs> not that we need it. I mean, everything's got trample, but they did just drop down a 5-4 and they're going to get a couple other blockers as well. So it might be worth just throwing it down. Let's just do it for fun. Let's do it for the sake of science. For science. All right, guys, I'm doing this simply as a learning experience for everybody here. No, 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 no. You got to let me just at least do the thing. Come on, man. The thing was about to do. Man, how, many, how much mana was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We were about to do a 10, 10 Phyrexia and then follow it up with the mana we get from the creatures to play another Segovia to get two more. And then they were all going to trigger twice off the virtue of loyalty. We might even have had a third of loyalty. I mean, gosh darn it, guy. Gosh darn it. Man, they never let me cook. <laughs> Nobody ever lets me cook. All right, so this is a pretty good hand here. I like this. If I find a third land drop, this is going to be pretty, pretty darn sweet. Uh, of course, that's a big if. We'll see. Nice. We got a fellow Dwayne the Rock player here. <laughs> that is super unfortunate. It does make my life a little more difficult here. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm going to go with the quick study here. Um, no real particular reason other than I don't want one of these two things to come down and just get countered again or picked off with like a, a removal spell. So I'm going to go quick study, maybe into Wandering Emperor. I feel like Planeswalkers typically when you're playing against control players, Planeswalkers are, are more difficult to deal with. So we'll start off the game with that. Maybe they can use some removal spells on the two twos that we create. And then from there, uh, once we start depleting them, we drop our bigger sort of creatures here. These are our big sort of win cons.
Memory deluge? No, okay. Man, we always seem to find the lantern flare in hand against the control players, which is pretty brutal. All right, let's see if we can get this to resolve. Probably not. Madness. Oh, that's a good hit. It's a really good hit. Uh, what do I play though? Do I go Wandering Emperor again? I think we go Wandering Emperor again. Gosh, if it gets countered again though, that's really bad. Really bad. Um, shoot. For one, why not? That's a really good hit too. Okay, I'm gonna play this first. Attack in and just pray the opponent doesn't hit us with the sweeper here, which I'm sure they will. And if they don't though, we can go uh, resolute reinforcements. But here comes the sunfall, let's be real. Like, we're not delusional, you know? That's not terrible. That is not terrible. A little spot removal doesn't hurt us too bad. Oh, I see. Okay. Temporary lockdown. I mean, a two, a two card play to get rid of my board is better than a simple sunfall that gets them a body and sweeps my board, right? So I'll take it. I still will take that. Man. All right. I think we're playing this as well as we can, but these bunny corns are a nightmare because they're not going to be able to get a full turn cycle before we get cooked. That's annoying. God, I wish that didn't have hexproof, man. That's so broken. That should not have hexproof. That is beyond broken. All right, I'm gonna do this now before they're able to get their counter spell. I'm so sorry, guys. My allergies are brutal right now. Okay. Ooh, that's a card. Um, three, four, five, five. Okay, so six. All right, I'm gonna go with a two-two. I'm gonna attack. And I'm going to try to resolve this. They've only got two cards in hand. They didn't have a counter spell before attacking with this, but they got to what? How many cards deep? Top three cards to pick one. Pretty strong possibility they found a counter spell, but I think they were really looking for a sweeper as opposed to a counter spell. So let's let's play the virtue of loyalty on that basis. Nope, they went for the counter spell. Got it. I mean, logically, the way I was kind of piecing that together made sense to me, but apparently. Apparently they thought otherwise. All right, so two, four, six. I have seven damage on board. They're definitely gonna find a sweeper at this point, right? They've gone six cards deep at this point. If they didn't find a sweeper, that'd be super unlucky for them. Temporary lockdown. Get lost. Okay, that's fine by me. That actually might have even given me more power to work with. And I get a Mirex. That's so good, actually. <laughs> land wow okay really on clutch timing <laughs> from our deck here all right we end the turn we get the mirex token they can't really afford to play their zergo they got to sweep the board here if they've got it they've got to play it which is gonna consume enough mana that hopefully they won't be able to play their dragon and then we mirex token it's not enough but at least it's something I think we got him, guys. It's just... Dude, these control matchups are just brutal for us. So slow and drawn out. I absolutely hate playing against control. Control and mono red aggro. Those are my nightmares, man. Oh, they went with the... They went with the dragon, okay. 
it's the year of the dragon for the opponent they're looking for that temporary lockdown i guarantee that's that this is like their full send hail mary they found it i mean they picked that up real quick yep that's what they were doing and they found it can't beat luck you know what i'm saying you can't beat luck <clears throat> not that that's luck i just i guess i'm just triggered all right <laughs> let's attack in here they went so many cards deep that definitely wasn't luck i just uh i'm being salty okay <sighs> i'm going for it because if they find like a get lost here i want to make sure that i'm able to still get that lethal shot through All right, let's force him to have it. Let's force him to have another sweeper or bust. All right, they're going for it again. Take away hexproof on that thing and this game's not even close. We smoke them. You know what I'm saying? That hexproof really saves the day for him. This is taking a lot longer. So maybe that's not a temporary lockdown, but it could be a get lost or something like that. Four mana to work with here. Teferi. Nice. That's definitely not good enough. Innistrad has been through enough. It needs our help. They plus it, it looks like. All right. They're going to leave their dragon out there for blocks, which not unfortunately going to work for them. Hate to break the news. It's not going to It's not going to fly. GG's. We've been waiting to use that flare all day, baby. Thanks for giving us a reason. <laughs> Oh, what a game, dude. The, what a good run we just had there, man. All the way through 91. Love it. Bottom to the top of 91. That'll do it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back again here tomorrow with another one. But I want to say thank you so much if you made it this far into the video. I appreciate it a ton. And I hope you enjoyed the deck list. Uh, you know, tokens are a lot of fun. We've done something like this in the past. You know, the bunny corn into Segovia is just a really sick combination that opens the door for a lot of shenanigans. So I really enjoy this style of deck list. And uh, I'm glad we revisited it because it's actually still pretty darn good. I had, you know, some great games and I hope you guys do as well. Uh, but yeah, that does it, man. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Huge shout out to the Mardu Mob. If you guys don't know, the Mardu Mob is the membership program on the channel. So these people help support me monetarily every single month. So I got to give them a huge shout out and let them know I appreciate them at the end of every video because I do. You guys keep the lights on and you keep me going. So thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate it. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hit him three times like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic, yeah, that's magic. Yeah, yeah. MTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. Where's the upload, man? Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best decks, but the meta. This ain't cheap.